Welcome to the first ecosystem approach to fisheries management video where we start talking about fisheries reserves and closed areas. So current approaches to fisheries management, management you've learned a little bit about fisheries management at this point. Stop the video now and try to answer this question. Try to list every way that you can think of or that we currently control and protect fishing stocks. Uh, and I'll just give you one, which would be a gear limitation. But try to go ahead and think of all the others that you can do. Okay, you've started again after finishing. So here are a few that um, are the majority that have been tried. Closures of areas, so you can limit areas. You can try quotas, catch limits, policies reducing fleets so you can um, say that the, we're only going to limit three or four boats or limit the fishery to three or four boats or 300 boats or whatever it might be you can have uh, incentives you can pay people not to fish you can um, have gear restrictions as in number of hooks or mesh sizes with uh, with um, long line or sorry number of hooks for long line mesh sizes for nets uh, anything else that you could think of. But mostly we look at single species management. For example, we um, would have set a quota for snapper and give people snapper quota in isolation. And, but can you only catch a single species? Is there any gear that only catches a single species of, of fish? Stop and think about that. Write down anything that you could think of that's uh, very species specific. course there are. You can um, spearfish and target fish or you can squid jig. Those are very species specific but mostly um, you need to you'll catch one you'll catch more than one fish and for example the snapper stocks are assessed and quota allocated separately from terakihi or gurnard even though they're both caught in the same places by the same techniques. That would be bottom trawls, inshore bottom trawls. And try to answer the question now, what obvious problem this can cause if you view a single fish population in isolation without taking into account the other ones. Okay, you've thought about it. Well, the obvious problem is that you could overfish one species while trying to catch another species. Or you, if you have an overfished species, then you might not be able to limit that fish from being caught and continue to be overfished if you are using the same technique to catch another species. Okay, and so these types of species-specific management may not be sufficient. And here's your question to answer. Why not? Think about this. And if you actually stop these videos and think about these questions, you'll get very much more out of them by trying to answer these yourself. Maybe even do some reading. Okay, we'll leave it now for the uh, second video.